apartment still the same bro that's crazy hell yeah bro i remember we used to be up in this motherfucker back when we was younger yeah this nigga working here nigga mad bitches bro nigga who you telling bro <laughs> hey ain't that, that that's that nigga right there bro it is that nigga bro what is he doing oh he's, he's going sleeping to Hey, bro. Need some drill? You sure, my nigga? You're straight from Humble. Nah, nigga, but you know my bitch Nina, though. Oh. What's up, y'all? My name is Ebony. And no, not Ebony, as in the bald headed stripper girl from that old movie Players Club, but Ebony, with the V. It's a combination of Eve. The first woman, biblically speaking, and Ebony, as in black. Mom always said it takes strength to be a woman, but to be a black woman? Now that takes strength, resiliency, and the grace and mercy of God to stand affirmatively as a black queen. Deep, right? Anyway, I'm here to tell y'all a story about my mom and her three friends, four beautiful black millennials who in trying to navigate their way through life encounter a lot of obstacles, but also a lot of glory. They were all raised in South Sacramento. 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 In 2019, Donald Trump was president. Inner city violence was a very present conversation in our community. Activism was no longer an option. It was a lifestyle. My mom and her friends were only 23 years old. 23, young, ambitious, and in a world of conformity, unapologetically black. when I came in, you were pretending to act like you were working, shuffling papers around desperately, trying to look busy. Now, I know this is your first job and all. Well, well kind of. I, I, I used to um, work at a... No, 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 no. I don't want to hear about class projects or internships or X, Y, and Z. If you want to be successful as an urban planner in the public sector, I need you to bring your A-game every single day. Yes, of course. And, and it wasn't my intention to um, demonstrate carelessness or seem um, disengaged. Those are the traits that you think I'm displaying, then I, I sincerely apologize. Don't apologize. Just be busy. Don't look busy. Be busy. Because let me tell you, those that think that they can get away with jogging, just because it looks like they're running, they never win the race. Got it. Well, since you've got it, I expect the results of our talk to be reflected in your work. Yeah, of course. And I, I appreciate your um, investment in my success here. You uh, want me to be more ambitious and um, to um, not waste a moment of time. So then why are you still here? I, I thought oh, we were... Uh... Look, girl, 
You've got to get it together. They don't want to see you win. This is a good old boys club. People like you and me, we've got to work twice as hard. You know what I'm saying? Understood. Um, let me go get this work done. Thank you, Sean. You're welcome. Did you, did you want me to close this door? Or? Bye, Veronica. Rolling on the beat. Rolling. Rolling. Who this love is so, so very amazing. We can chill, sit back and have a conversation. I appreciate it. Mm, God damn. Mm, what? What time is it? Shit. It's 10 o'clock. Mm. You need to get up so you can take me to school. And after school, I can't miss work. So you gotta pick me up on time, please. Dude, are you on your phone? Who are you talking to? Hello? I'm not talking to anyone, Sheree. Mm-hmm. All I know is you was just knocked out in the bed sleep. And then now you're up putting on jeans and whatnot. So, what's that about? Yo, what happened to the sweet Sheree? You know, the one that was kissing all over me? Shit. You know, sometimes I think your ass is bipolar. Oh, so you did feel me try to wake you up. And yet, yeah, your ass pretend like you was asleep, talking about, uh, uh, what's up? What time is it? With your old lying ass. Ain't nothing funny, Roland. Come on, let's go. Hey. You know, your life will be a lot more happy if you stop tripping all the goddamn time. Hey, babe, where the keys at? Oh, I can't stand this nigga. Just, uh, I know that love is dangerous. But since I've been with you, love is famous. You the kids, I'm Calvin Chambers. Told myself that I would never fall in love again. If it... Roland, can you be back here by 12, please? I got you. Okay. Where are you going? I'm about to pick up Sheree from school and then take her to work. Again? Black got her car, huh? Yeah. That was staging you. I wonder if she knows she a hoe. You know she a hoe, right? <laughs> Trenton, shut up. No, she is not. And Black is cool. He just be messing up every now and then. Like all you southern men. Hey, Ash, don't be calling me no nigga. Well, don't be calling Sheree no hoe. A nigga is a derogatory name the white man bestowed upon the black man to imply that we were not the kings God made them to be. And for some reason, you black women want to affirm that derogatory title and use it against your black kings. It's your secret weapon in order to be condescending. Which is why most black women single as fuck are they a hoe who confused and think they're in a relationship. But let's not pretend that saying the word nigga is exclusively some angry black woman shit. Like you said, the word was bestowed and not just on black men. But here's the plot twist. We as a community have capitalized on the word in art and even turned it into a term of intimidation and endearment. How many white people have you heard greet each other like, what's up, cracker? But now I'm curious, how would you even define a hoe? I heard you, my queen. But a hoe is a hoe, though. Simple as that. Actually, she knows. Bye, Trey. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh
broke and sold you and demonstrate. Get in and make your body ecstatic, highly erratic. Having actions like she might be a rabbit. Spiking was fast, enticing as it becomes cooperation. I got her naked and proper statements have got me playing the denominator. I'm here, Angelina. Sorry I'm late. You feel some type of way, feel, feel, feel some type of way. Meet me on some fuck shit, but my niggas do not play. You feel some type of way, feel, feel, feel some type of way. Meet me on some fuck shit, but my niggas but that doesn't even matter. I mean, you don't have to be black just to like your life. That's what you can do. But I'm so proud of being, I gotta be, got a lot of team and a whole lot of family around me. Brian, why the hell does the house look like this? You got towels everywhere, lights on, bag of chips everywhere, bottles, what the fuck? If you call me Willow from now on, I don't go by Brian no more. Brian, why would I call you Willow? Like, that makes no sense. Your name is Brian Percival Jones. Like, that's just dumb. Your ass is one to talk. You got like 10 different names and shit. Veronica, Nikki, Nick. Those are all derivative of my name. Rolo makes no sense. Like, where where did that even come from? You know, you need to land that creativity into actually trying to find a job instead of making up little nicknames. <laughs> You know, you fit that shit into every conversation we be having. That's real creativity right there. <laughs> you know, you are the only person I know who is actually smart enough to be in AP literature, AP physics, AP economics, AP everything. Get a bomb-ass score on your SAT test and have no ambition. Like, none. Look like what you talking about. I do have ambition. I just don't fuck with school because that shit a big-ass game. The whole world is a big-ass game, Brian. But instead of running around paying cops and robbers with your goofy ass little friends, you need to play a game that's actually gonna help you pay some bills in this house. Like, I cannot be the only one like that's buying shit around here. I'm trying to upgrade your life for free. Don't buy some real pretty pebbles. So my niggas work at Blue's Co. Nigga, hook you up with all that shit. You know, forget you, Brian. All I do know is you better not be doing no illegal shit in my legally paid for, registered in my name card. You big mad today. Just because you gotta be around corny white people all day who won't do shit but drink Starbucks, talk about skiing and Tahoe, don't mean you gotta project your anger on your little brother because I ain't did shit to you. And for your information, I do have a job. I just quit yesterday. So, there are a couple things here. Number one, my boss is black. Sure. Judgmental as hell, but black. Number two, my coworkers don't talk about skiing and Tahoe. Like, don't be ignorant. And number three, Tell me, how do you have a job, but yet you quit yesterday? Look, I'm confused on that part. Uh, you remember that interview I had Staples, right? Mm -hmm. So I beast to the interview and everything. I get this job, I schedule, and set my first day from like three to seven on Friday. So I get there around like 3.20ish, because that's just general time, you feel me? No, I don't feel you. You know your work hours are not a general time, like that's hella specific. Like what? you can't get more specific than when they tell you to come to work. Whatever, nigga. It's potato, tomato, same shit. I get my badge, I get my schedule and shit. They was really fucked with me. I finished all my training and everything. So, a couple of days go by, and I'm stocking, and the customer asks me, do you know where the charges are for the Toshiba laptops? So, I'm thinking, I've been giving them the fake for the last couple of days. I know they don't expect me to keep this shit up my whole career. So, I give her a real genuine customer service answer, not that fake shit you be peddling at your job. Whatever, Brian, what did you say? I say, honestly, I just started working here, so how the fuck should I know where these charges are at? But there's a solution if you just look at the signs, it should guide you to where the charges are. Brian! What the fuck? You can't say that to me. You can't talk to people like that. What is wrong with you? Grandma raised you way better than that. Whatever. So, she don't snitch to that manager. Manager don't come talk to me talking about you fired. I'm like, for what? Because I don't know where the fuck these charges are at. That's just irrational. He's like, woof dee woof dee woo, you always late, so you're fired. I was like, nah, fuck that, I quit. I walk out, I'm just like, that's so fucking irrational. How am I supposed to inform somebody where some shit is when I don't even know where this shit is? That's when you educate yourself, Rolo. Rollo, first of all. And are there or are there not big ass signs in every store that tells you where shit is? Like, I'm stocking the paper clips. I was just like, I'm not your mom. I'm not about to hold your hand throughout the entire store. I just find it convenient that you could find the manager, but you can't find the fucking chargers. Like, you use the same effort you use to find the manager for the chargers. Will we be in that situation? Like, just look at the signs. They pay you to hold hands. That's customer service one-on-one. -on -one. So you got fired. Nah, I quit. 
No, you got fired. Which means you ain't got no job. Rolo. Rolo. <laughs> you think I'm joking, Brian, but I'm oh so serious. I'm not, Mama. I will kick your ass out. You'll know what living on the streets really is. Not for out here, you Nick. Where are you going? Uh, proving out the swoop, man. We got to leave. I'll see you later. Love you, sis. <sighs> I cannot stand that nigga. My only concern is my skull, so I don't care who win it. I'm out here trying to change our living, my I gotta get it. Nah, nah, uh, no, my, I gotta get it. Them bills too much past due. Uh, uh, I gotta get it. They say I'm coming off dark, so lighten up the lyrics. I gotta lose myself to add a couple digits. I'm gonna make music for the trenches. Those living in it, they barely get a mention, but still they remain persistent. And I know these babies listening, and I pray you watch your pivots. You'll learn your no, definition. So I'm in my public health lecture room, and we're watching this documentary about how your socioeconomic status relates to your own personal health. But studies have shown that black people, regardless of their socioeconomic class, have been more susceptible to chronic diseases like diabetes. And because of systemic oppression, we have more stress, which leads to lower life expectancy, you know. Right, right. Girl, everybody in the class is writing, like this professor done discovered gold or some shit. And I'm like, motherfuckers had to pay thousands of dollars to hear some basic ass shit. Well, I mean, I, I guess I kind of get it. Like, if you never lived a life, then how are you gonna instinctively know? But, I don't know. And I know, I like, I hear all that, but I'm still like, come on, that shit basic as fuck. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> but then, then I hear this white girl whisper something to her little friend. What's she say? Girl, she says verbatim. Or maybe it's all that Popeye's chicken and biscuits. Oh, oh bitch, oh hell no. What? First of all, I don't even like Popeye's. Know my so, but girl, she did. Mm -hmm. And then her and her little friend just start kiki <laughs> Like that shit funny. Okay, so first of all, how does she know the full official name of Popeye's? That means her ass must be in that chicken and biscuits too. Exactly. Oh, that's strange, Ashley. Why the hell she lies? Say she don't like Popeyes. She know her ass love Popeyes. That's that it. Hey Nikki, go Nikki girl. Hey Nikki, hey Nikki girl. Hey Nikki. Do not be hella loud in front of my house, okay? I got square pants neighbors. I don't live in country village. Hey Nikki, that was all her idea, by the way. Oh no, she actually does have. Crazy. I ain't never heard nobody say anything so open like that before. And y'all know me. I check a bitch with all the quickness in the world. Stomp a bitch out there. Post a bitch getting stomped out there. <laughs> okay, I don't play. <laughs> but, no, nah, actually I was kind of mad at myself that I didn't say anything. But I knew if I would have confronted her, I would have just been pegged another angry black woman. No. No, I don't subscribe to that kind of confinement at all. If I feel offended and subject to racism, intentionally bred from ignorance, no, I'm always gonna speak my mind. Fuck that shit, no. But let's just say it's not intentional. Like, maybe someone is literally unaware of oppression and they don't even realize that systemic racism is even a thing. My personal opinion is that you educate. I say fuck that. Okay, that's not my motherfucking job. Fuck that. And honestly, it's exhausting always having to check someone else's ignorance. You know they say to be a woke black person is to be in a constant state of rage. Mm -hmm. That part. Ooh, and we all know Nikki's always in a state of rage, so she must be super woke. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I just love how our little Friday nights have become our ladies' night in, where we spill our little tea, yes. we drink on our alcohol that we actually pay for, yes. <laughs> and we just laugh. Like it's just so great. I remember we were so thirsty for the turn up. <laughs> I'm just happy my ass have a baby right now. Like oh. everybody else. Niggas out here pollinating every little flower they hit. Pollinating? <laughs> We're bumblebees, Destiny. <laughs> Utilizing the bumblebee theory. Now there's a bumblebee theory. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, now we talked about it in bio. Now, that bitch, Ebony, she might be the queen bee. 
Boaz Ebony, they're 25 and has four baby daddies. She's the queen bee. Okay, so check me out. Now, see, the queen bee is responsible for giving birth to all the little baby bees, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Ebony pretty much gave birth to every baby in South Sacramento. <laughs> oh, you wrong. Oh, 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 you wrong. <laughs> Hella funny, though. Hella funny. No, see, that's wrong. Don't be talking about a woman like that. We're supposed to be empowering each other, not reinforcing negative stereotypes of each other. No, I know, my bad. But y'all know I can't stand that bitch because she's so fucking messy. She's the messiest thing in the world. So messy. Look, look, look. Okay, I don't know about ebony or worker bees, queen bees, whatever. But what I do know is I'm not meant to be somebody's mama. But she would have to get a man in a love life first. So, Ooh. fuck a love life. Well, damn, man. Veronica, I'm going to need you to channel that energy mm. and lighten up your spirit. That'll probably help you find somebody because, you know, companionship is everything. Hey, talk that oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay, Ayanla, companionship is everything. Like, companionship just happens. It just happened with me and Jola. Five years in and me and baby still going strong. Mm -hmm. Then why are you here with us and not him? Because he's in school, bitch. Don't be throwing shit in my house. What the God. But since you guys want to be all up in my business, I will tell you that I do have a little project. Well, project. what's going on with oh, that? Yeah. <laughs> well, so y'all know that I went on that little date, mm -hmm. but I could already tell it's not going to work out because he started irritating my soul within the first 30 minutes. <laughs> in the first 30 minutes though, Veronica, how does that even work? Long story, but short version is you don't need the box. Oh, no. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay, mm -mm. it's not that bad, bad but you can be trained. Nah, throw the old nigga away. It's okay. Canceled. We're not doing it. No. <laughs> Cancel. A whole, a whole grown ass man. I wouldn't do like, it. Like, what the fuck? Let's change the subject. What's going on with y'all? <sighs> Me and Black, we cool for the most part. He just be tripping every now and again, so. How so? Like, he's just so emotional. It's like I'll ask him a simple question. I'll be like, babe, can you take me to school? This fool will be like, don't I always take you the fuck to school? Yeah. See, that's the type of response that will ruin the energy for the whole day. Mm -hmm. How do you even respond to that? And that's exactly what it does. It ruins the energy for the whole day. But it's like, you know, I know that when he's mad and I'm mad, nothing comes out that situation. So I just let it go. Mm. That's interesting. Do not let that be jaw on, because I do not let shit go. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom now. So, what's going on with you and Trey? You guys still going good, I presume? I mean, in spite of everything that's been going on. I can't stand being at his mom's house. It's hella awkward. But I don't think he's ready to move out just yet. You know, he wants to finish school first, and of course be there to help his mom out, because she's still going through it. Yeah. Well, I mean, that is understandable, because she's still healing, you know? So you just gotta have patience. Yeah, yeah, and you know the last thing that y'all wanna do is get a place, you can't pay your bills and stuff. That's just gonna add more pressure on you and Trey, and y'all don't need that right now. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Here we go. You never fail. Mm -hmm. Every single time. Oh, what was it, 45 minutes this time? For real, this is over 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's been real, but I gotta go. What, black tripping again? He not tripping. He just said he want to see me. You going to come with me or you staying with the girls? I'm going to stay here. Trey can come get me. See you when I see you. I'm out. Yes. What I say? Oh, let me come. Oh, yeah. She knows she lying. He is tripping. God, see? <laughs> I really think that that's the reason why I don't have no nigga right now. Now, that's some caveman shit right there. Okay, no. but nigga, you know sacrifice comes along with relationships. It's not all bad. Mm. Got some good good, you know? Hey, 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 hey. Sometimes you like it when it's bad, you know what I mean? Hey. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
She's not coming. So that means I'm keeping her. Oh, mom, I got it. Don't trip. Okay, so she's teething. So I'm gonna need you to make sure that she has something cold for her tea. And see what a diaper bag. I think it's in the car. Why? Cause she don't need it right now. Don't trip. I'm gonna take care of it as soon as I'm done with this game, alright? Okay, so you need me to put them cords about that wall? I'm in here waiting all kinds of stuff. Hey, baby. Man, no matter how many times I've told this story, this part just never gets easier. What's up, bro? Nah, I'm cool. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I know you though. Nina. Oh, fuck. You can't be serious. <laughs> Come on, bro. I got a daughter. Come on. Oh, the fuck was that shit, nigga? I been just jumping this nigga, bro. <laughs> the fuck I look like tussling on the ground with a sucker. I never even told y'all who my mom is, but I guess y'all figure that out. Anyways, till next time, one love, fam. Sack on the map.